All right, so we're going to go ahead and test hyperlinks on a master slide. So what we have here is um, five slides. I just numbered them one through five so we can see them real quick. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into view. We're going to go to slide master. And then what I want to do is just go ahead and put a um, uh, some links on here. So we'll go ahead. Let's actually just get rid of all this junk. We don't need that. And uh, we'll go ahead and put some links on here. So let's uh, insert. Um, let's insert some shapes here. So we'll do like a rounded rectangle, and we'll uh, we'll call this one. And let's uh, move these down here. And uh, we'll do two, three, um, four, and five. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hyperlink to those slides. So I'm going to hyperlink here going to choose a place in this document. We'll do slide one, which is the one here. This one will be slide two, um, slide three, and uh, let's see here. We'll just go ahead and finish this up. Four and slide five. Okay, so the hyperlinks are set there. We're going to go ahead and uh, come back into uh, PowerPoint. And if we do a preview of that, we can see um, I can click around and in PowerPoint it's working. So let's go ahead and um, get out of that. We're going to let me save this and then I'll publish it and then we'll see if it's working in Presenter. All right, so we can see here's the published version of it. And um, I didn't set the slides to stop, but we can click on it. You can see uh, the hyperlinks are all working. Now usually when the hyperlink's not working, let me come back to PowerPoint. Um, usually when it's not working, I would say it's a combination of things. So uh, sometimes if we come back to the master, what people will do is they'll group uh, the object here. So they'll group this because it's easier than to move uh, the toolbar around. And at that point when you publish it, the links end up disappearing. And the reason is because now this is a single object rather than one object. Now in PowerPoint they still work, but they don't always work uh, when you publish it. Uh, the other thing is sometimes uh, people will create like a custom shape. So let's say uh, they'll create something uh, with um, with rounded uh, elements like this and they put a hyperlink on that and sometimes that won't uh, work as well. Uh, an easy fix for that is to just go ahead and create a shape. I like to create my like own link shape and then this becomes my hyperlink. Uh, so I would just then say hyperlink that to slide one. And what I would do is just set that on top of uh, slide one. And then um, what you can do is when you're ready to publish you just go ahead and uh, change the fill. So you can do like no fill, uh, no line cover and you just put it on top of there and then you, the hyperlink will work and you don't have to worry about adding hyperlinks to shapes. Uh, one of the advantages of this is I can always move the hyperlink around. So if I decide to change my shape, I don't have to break anything. I can just uh, uh, move the link. The other thing is if you go into uh, the selection pane, um, I, can, I can title these. So I can say link to slide one and um, then I know what I have. So without that, so if I got rid of this link here, um, I don't have any way to know uh, that anything's linked anywhere on the slideshow. Uh, but if I have uh, the shape like this, then I know that I have the links. And, and then it's just a matter if I want to find the link, I can just click on a shape. So if I don't know where that link's at, I can just click on there and I can see where the link's at and manipulate it. Uh, so there's a couple tips right there.